Hmm. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Griffin Hall, and I will let you know right now that I love books. I love reading. It's a lost art that I wish would return soon. Myself as a writer, I've written many kinds of things. But a recent passion I've found is a love for children's books. The simple, yet the honest, and something to learn from. Now, I'm sure that this is a story that a lot of you have heard, but I want to give you my retelling of the tale of Hades and Persephone by yours truly. Once there was a mother and a daughter. The mother's name was Demeter, and the daughter, Persephone. They were gods in ancient Greece, responsible for spring and the harvest. Demeter was a loving mother, but she was very strict with Persephone. She would watch her daughter's every move. This caused conflict oftentimes between the two. Down below, in the underworld, lived another god named Hades. He was lonely down there, having only the dead to keep him company. One rare time when Hades left the underworld, he saw Persephone and immediately fell in love. Persephone's heart won over her fear of her mother, and she followed him to his kingdom. Persephone's father was the king of all gods, and the lord of thunder, Zeus. Hades spoke with Zeus one day, asking if he could have Persephone as his own, and to keep the love a secret from Demeter. One day Demeter went into her fields to call her daughter, but Persephone was nowhere to be found. She became very worried and angry. Because the nymphs of her field would tell her nothing, Demeter cursed them all. They were turned into disgusting, scaly creatures, turning them into the sirens. Eventually, it was the god Helios that told Demeter the truth. So down to the underworld Demeter went. She begged Hades to let Persephone come back to the land of the living. It wasn't until a secret was revealed. While Persephone was with Hades in the underworld, she had eaten the seeds of a pomegranate from one of the magic trees. It is said that those who eat the fruit of the underworld are locked there forever. This meant that Persephone would be with Hades forever, away from her mother. Still, Demeter argued and refused this ancient rule. The argument was brought to Zeus, and a great compromise was made. For six months of the year, Persephone had to stay with her mother and tend to the harvest. This was the beginning of the seasons, spring and summer. And for the other six months of the year, Persephone could stay with her beloved Hades. The world would become colder and barren of crops. This would be the birth of the autumn and winter months. And so it was until the end of time that Persephone would dictate our seasons. All it took was a pomegranate, a secret, and a mad mother to give our world the strange cycle it goes through every year. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I wish to see you next time. Until then.